Good afternoon Year 10. In this lesson we're going to look at bacterial diseases. So yesterday we looked at diseases that were transmitted by viruses or viral pathogens. So if you look at the slide you should be familiar with this now. So if you pause it see if you can think of all the ways the diseases can be transmitted. Right, so we've got diseases that are transmitted sexually and we've got diseases that are transmitted by sharing needles and then we've got waterborne diseases that are transmitted in the water and airborne diseases that are transmitted through droplets in the air. There are some diseases that are spread by direct physical contact and some diseases are transmitted by other organisms. So those other organisms are called vectors and a common one that you'd know about is a mosquito but it doesn't always have to be an insect. So we're looking at bacterial diseases today. You're going to look at two specific ones and they are salmonella and gonorrhea. So you'll be able to list the symptoms, explain how they're transmitted and then explain how to prevent transmission. So this is what the specification says about it. So you can pause it and this gives you specific information about what will be tested on the exam. And then we'll quickly go through the key words. So we've got pathogen, which is a microorganism that causes infectious disease. So you learnt about viral pathogens yesterday, today you're learning about bacterial pathogens. Not all bacteria cause disease. Communicable diseases are those that are infectious and can spread from person to person or organism to organism, or sometimes between organisms. And then transmission is the actual spread of the disease. I'd like you to take a minute to just refresh your memory and do a bit of retrieval practice on prokaryotic cells. So you could have a look at this and then you could look away and see if you can draw it. So you should remember that prokaryotic cells have a capsule or slime layer, that they then have a cell wall, that they also have a cell membrane. And some of them can move, which is why they've got a flagellum. The most important thing that you need to remember about the prokaryotic cells are the plasmids. So they have a circular ring of DNA in them. So you're going to learn about these diseases yourself today on information packs. So you've got an information pack on salmonella and you've got an information pack on gonorrhea. So you'll do a similar sheet to what you did for viruses where you'll write the same things above the top. They're not listed on here but you need to list the symptoms. So you put the symptoms underneath where you just need to list them. It doesn't need to be an exhaustive list, it just needs to be the main list. So um, for salmonella you get vomiting and diarrhoea and you get abdominal pain so it's enough to put that in there. Then you're going to talk to me about how the disease is transmitted in the second third of the worksheet and then you're going to write down how we can prevent transmission of the disease when you've done that you'll answer the exam question in your notebook and then when you've done that you will answer a Microsoft form so the Microsoft form is called bacterial diseases review and it will only be about five questions just to check what you've learned in the lesson